Hello, hello, hello. I am here. <laughs> I am just making sure I have my, um, what you call it, go live notifications and things. So I'm just doing a thing for uh, Twitter here. I think that's right. Well, <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm kind of not fully prepared. Hello, Starly. How are you? I hope you're you're good. Okay, that looks like that's fine. There. Let me just get it in another place as well. I mean, I could have done this, like, all before I had it all prepared and everything like that, but, uh, you know. And, yeah, maybe I could have a little music going on here, you know, you for waiting and all that kind of thing, but uh, not at the moment. I'll pop that on there. I realise I still have the thing up as uh, testing as well, don't I? Um, yeah, that kind of needs to change, I think. Can I do it from here? No, I think I need to go over to this. Right. I need to be able to type as well. That's always very useful. changing over my title at some point. I hope. Anyway, um... Uh... I think I messed up a, <laughs> a thing for where I posted it. Never mind. <laughs> Little music notes, I see those now. Let me just get this right. How do you do it? It's HTTP colon slash slash and then www dot Oh, uh, hey Flygon. Nice to see you. I will be getting to game in a bit. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, anybody who who is worrying. Um, I think... That should be updated. Is it not actually doing a, a link? People can figure it out, I'm sure. That didn't quite work as well as I wanted, but whatever. Right, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is switch over to this and uh, we can get started. Hopefully everything will be working absolutely fine. Should be hearing some spooky music going on. Just adjusting so I can see them from where I am and all that. So yeah, I don't know. Where's my... Oh, three viewers I have, it says. So, hello, all three, or whatever. And hopefully this isn't too loud um, compared to my voice. If it is, obviously let me know. I can do some changing of some things. And um, I'll do that. But yeah, so you got the spooky start. Now I have played this game before, all the way through, and that, but that was a while ago. And 
I pretty much can't remember very much of it. Well, I, I've got the general idea of it, but it's like connecting all the bits, you know. It's like, I know I can get this thing, I know I can get this other thing, but it's like the, the connecting part in between that, of how to get from one place to another. I don't see anybody complaining about volume, so I hope that's okay. So, yeah, that's my uh, one I've got here. I think that's like four hours, 13 into it on that. Um, and quite a, a few of the power-ups, as you can see. But uh, we'll go for, for this one here. And, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure this is all kind of set up so that I can... Thank you very much, Scarlett. Um... Yeah, so shot. Oh, I don't really have this. Let's say, I have a control which doesn't have the buttons laid out like this. So I'm going to have to. I don't have my switch control actually nearby me either. So, um, which which one's the bottom one? Is it the B or the A? I think it's the B on the Nintendo controller, isn't it? Um, so that I I don't. Know. If I push the buttons, is it going to change them to what I want? So if I do, yeah, there we go shot we have that as jump i have that one as dash item select i think i got that on a select thing item cancel i'm gonna be pushing the wrong buttons anyway don't you worry have no fear um i think that's set it all up let me just go back to it just to make sure shot no it didn't change it at all um so no oh no it did I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and Dash is on. Yeah, that, that that did save it. So I'm not only just getting lost in the in the game. I'm getting lost in the menus as well. Hello, Sentinel. Nice to see you here as well. Trying to keep up with looking at the uh, the chat and everything. Oh yeah. Is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I have to take quiet for that. <laughs> So I suppose I should read things out. I first battled the Metroids on planet Seabees. I was there, no, it was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack a galactic civilization. Perhaps a little grammar could be corrected there. I think I have to press the button as well, yep. <laughs> so yeah, scenes from the first game, which didn't quite look as, 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 as uh, high resolution as that. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them with a... Oh, sorry. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva, which, after hatching, followed me like a confused child. This was... the second game, Metroid 2, for the Game Boy. As I remember, Return of Samus... Or is it Samus Returns? Whichever one wasn't the newest one. <laughs> I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres, Ceres, whatever, so scientists could study its energy-producing qualities. Basically being a space vampire. That's absolutely fine, a bit of the, um, not playing the, uh, the Repton levels. I understand how things can get with uh, not being able to keep up with the schedules and not having schedules to begin with, so, you know. Uh, but yeah, whenever you want to get back to them, obviously, um, I think I'm still subscribed to your channel, so <laughs> I will um, be on that. Um, and looking at that, so back to the story here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. It's always a good thing. We don't want to have these um, very big powers harnessed for for bad things. I mean, that never happens. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Um. If you can send some kind of reminder of me to, 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 to send them, I'm not quite sure which ones they were and where they are on my computers and that, but obviously drop me a note somewhere um, and um, I'll uh, be sure to get them to you if I still have them. I'm pretty sure I still have them. <clears throat> okay. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. 
But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah's station was under attack. It didn't let me wait on that screen. Hello, Venomous, as well. Yep. As I said um, at the start of this, I kind of have a vague idea of what I'm doing with this game, but um, it's just connecting all the, the dots together, which I may or may not have... Oop, I don't you know, shoot those doors. Yeah, connecting the dots, which I may or may not have um, in my brain. Oof, yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to get used to the controls I, I chose for myself here. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, general kind of thing I'll fumble around try and figure things out get lost you know all those kind of fun things which you do with those games if I ask for help obviously if anybody actually has any ideas <laughs> they can let me know because this is a big map can I actually oh no I'm probably in the wrong place here so yeah things I know about this game this is a, a battle you're designed to lose Oh yeah, I'm supposed to try and get out as well, aren't I? Yep, so Ridley's basically just got to kill me as fast as possible. I mean, I'm not doing this as a speedrun, because obviously, as I said, I have no idea how to collect the dots and, and all that business. But, uh, yeah. So we would just do this. Yeah. I, I can't remember when I actually first completed this, but it was uh, a while ago. I think one of the things that threw me on the first playthrough was something that throws everyone. Ridney is standing, standing very still here. Oh, yeah, I think you're supposed to get low enough on health, but not too low. <laughs> okay, so that, that that is something that um, can happen, apparently. <laughs> So yeah, as I said, I have basic ideas about how all this works and that, and I have played through it before. And I played through very, um, yeah, they can kill me apparently. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it, it, it's all about um, learning these things for myself, because you can watch as many speedruns as this as possible and just, you know, you, you don't pick up on, on very certain things. So, um, now that we found out that it can, that Ridley can um, actually kill you there, let's try, let's try this time as, as an actual fight. And let's try and get my uh, buttons the right way around. So I've got my shooty. Come on Ridley, don't be shy. That's my shoot up button. As I said, you're not designed to win this this battle. But you aren't supposed to die either. So we'll make a, a good effort at trying to knock down the health. Ow! Yeah, I'm low on health now. I'm really going to do a super special whoosh. And now I have to get out of here. Yep, I'm a very well self-struct or struct sequence has been activated. I am trying to escape. And by the way, this is one of my favorite uh, bits of uh, video game music, the kind of Super Metroid boss theme, which was kind of repurposed into just Ridley theme later on. One of the things I like about this um, this music is the uh, the time signature changes. Because we're one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five here. Then one two three four one two three four one two three one two three four five. <laughs> and there's another bit which is uh, an even different time signature as well. But we ah, may not get to that because yeah, I'm back on the lift. It goes one two three one two three for the next bit, and then it goes one two, and then back into the one two three four five. Because I, I like music, I notice things like this. And if you didn't, and I've just, you know, presented something which you didn't know before, cool. If you already knew it, you know, it's like, yeah, <laughs> that's okay. So 
So here, what was that? I'm going to miss the thing. That's, that's Seabees, isn't it? Going back to, in air quotes, where it all started, but it's kind of a little bit different laid out, though some bits are the same from the first game. I, I, I tried to play the first game. I did kind of do okay with it, but it's easy to get lost. Oh, yeah, watch out for the, the flashing here. I mean, I don't think it's too much to give anybody big problems, but um, just be aware of that. And yeah, I don't have my special power up, but that's where I'm going to, to get that now. And yeah, I may or may not know some of the uh, shortcuts that are available, and I may or may not be able to do them. Oh yeah, that's you need the morph ball there. And yeah, if I'm walking past something which looks interesting, it's because I kind of know that I can't do anything with it at the moment. And so this is where you would have started, or ended actually, uh, the first Metroid game. This is the escape route. I don't know if the platforms are exactly in the right space, but you go up this instead of down this. And uh, once we get to the bottom of this, if I just go to the side here, no. Try to stop you everywhere. You go through the door here. This is where the escape sequence would have been going off. And this is where Mother Brain would have been doing all the, her shooty shooty with her, um, well, not very much actually, the ring, uh, the rinker things here would have been shooting little rinkers, little donut things at you. And then these things which are broken down are the things you had to fire missiles into. And this is kind of why I had problems with um, the first game. It's like you have to have enough missiles and things coming into here. And it's not very easy to, to recharge on them. And so, yeah, you have to have all the things you need ready. But, um, yeah, it's not very user-friendly. And this would have been the rest of what's called uh, Torian, which is the last area but obviously it's not quite um the same here i like to think of it as kind of like a um what do you call it uh like it, it, it's this is a, a t 2d slice of a 3d environment zero motion yeah that was a good one and uh, let's see what sentinel said uh, original metroid yeah i mean you kind of have to make a map for it and all that so this elevator isn't here in the original, and this is kind of, I, I did, yeah, I was a bit of a geek, a bit of a nerd, I, I lined up the maps as best as I could, and um, see, saw where they would actually, oh, yeah, I, I normally mess around with the control pad, just like point up, point around, or around, all that kind of thing, sometimes it involves you going back up a, an elevator, which you've just come down. But yeah, this is, uh, I think I have to go off, then back on. Yeah, this is kind of roughly in the same area where it is, I think, in the original. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I like this game. It's, it's got a lot of the uh, the things that I think everybody likes about the, the Metroid um, series. Um, and it could do with some quality of life improvements, but the, it's kind of got the non-linear um, aspect to it which other things have tried to to do but then they kind of do you try to have some kind of some kind of guiding force or whatever my first metroid was actually um what is it uh the other one on the game boy advance um not zero mission fusion that was the one um but yeah so anyway this is the first power up to get Morph ball or morphing ball? Oh, oh no, I've been seen by the the thing. Ah, yeah. One of the things you can't shoot down, and so you can just I say crawl out, but uh, yeah, it's not really a crawl. You can go through here. This is kind of also a take on the the original uh, Metroid thing. I don't have the bombs to place, but you can uh, shoot down through the floor here. Um, see how good that will actually do us. <laughs> yes, I'm aware there is a, as a, a meme involved in that, so yep. Missiles. So I think you maybe are supposed to come through here. I think this is one of the things that kind of threw me off to, to start off with. 
and then which one is select that one's select for five so five missiles normal missiles opens up one of those doors bleep, bleep. yeah little little eyeball thing i think these just go away after after this part the space pirates are kind of noticing me invading their area more missiles Yeah. Can I go up here at the moment? I'm not sure. Or is it through this way? But yeah, in the original, you just kind of crawl underneath there. You'd go this way, I think, a bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, so they've, uh, they've kind of got some things from the original. Maybe there was supposed to be some kind of cave in. Maybe it's like a different kind of direction you're supposed to be going. And I think, is this where? No, it's, it's when you get back to the Mother Brain room that the Space Pirates come out to play, isn't it? So there is more stuff to do in this kind of area, but because I don't have the, um, the needed power-ups, I can't actually do anything in that area. So, uh, yeah, back through here. Now I think this is where they're going to start popping out and surprising me. Yep, here they are, Space Pirates. Fortunately, they sent the weak ones in first. So very, very generous of them. I mean, they already fought uh, Samus on this planet before, so they, you know, should know exactly how deadly she can become. I mean, I don't know if they would know whether she's lost her, um, oops, lost all her power-ups, because, you know, Metroid, no Metroid. Samus has got to lose all her power-ups between every game or the start of every game or nearly every game. I think some of the other games don't do that um, or don't get rid of all of them and, you know, it doesn't make story sense so much all the time, but um, yeah, those, those golden ones would have been a, a bit of a pain to, to fight first. And there's probably better ways to climb up here but, you know, this is not a speedrun. <laughs> this is a fall back down the escape shaft run. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to say something there, but I think that kind of lends itself better to being later on to, to mention that. So, you've got two jumps here, and I'll try and demonstrate this for anybody who doesn't know you got your kind of straight jump if you go straight up like this and then move sideways you'll just kind of do a slow kind of movement across jump um no time limit in this game apart from when there is a time limit but you'll see that is big and obvious um i, I not all over the place <laughs> no um but yeah so you got this jump here and um then you kind of got if you push the direction first and then jump you do the spinning jump which is kind of faster but slightly less easy control but you do get a special kind of ability associated with that later on yeah shine sparking i did do a little uh, practice of the of that before i um decided to stream this this game um yeah i can go through here can't i um, but I don't think I can go too much further because I don't have bombs to go through there, that's the one. But yeah, I did a little practice and I needed to make sure my controller was figured correctly because I mean, this is probably dull for anybody who doesn't know about the, the way um, controllers work and all that kind of thing. But it was reading my D-pad that I've got here as, a, as I think the hat control, which you'd have on a flight stick or something. Um... So yeah, that does directions differently. You can do the separate diagonals to whatever cardinal directions, I suppose you'd call them. So ooh, map screen or map uh, station, map data. Yeah, and I haven't looked at the map at the moment, but uh, this, the purple or pinky magentary purple is uh, kind of where I've been. And yeah, this is kind of a, a lot of other places plus also obviously this is this is not everything that the, the map because 
these two places here. The wrecked ship and uh, Criteria, I think, on top here aren't uh, connected. And yeah, there's more, more to it. I need to do start to get out of here. Yeah, if I start saying something and, and can completely lose track, that's that's just my brain. Don't worry. If there's anything which you really want me to complete the thought of, uh, let me know that I was actually saying something before I interrupted myself. But yeah, I mean, I don't have the turbo boost thing at the moment, so I don't think I can do any any shine sparking quite at the moment. What I really would like is a save point. And oh, look on the map up there. It seems like there's a save point right through here, which is very useful. Would I like to save? Yes, I would. Save completed. I mean, I don't need to read out everything that's on the screen. But there we go. Uh, yeah, and I don't know all the names of these things. I've got flying beetle, and and and, and crawling spiky bug. I know some things are called gamers, and I uh, yeah, I I don't. Ugh. Screen, please behave. Yeah, I know there's other names for various other things. I need think I need bombs to get through there as well. Ooh. <laughs> I think the superior logo is a little, little more uh, fancy, isn't it? So, yeah, this is filling out the map, trying to remember. I think this is where the uh, little statue thing, or the big statue thing is, isn't it? Down here. Get out of my way! Oh, and access through here. Yeah, and this is, oh no, this is, this is a boss. Good job I saved. So yeah, that's my, um, that bomb, that's the one. Yeah, am I supposed to try and get out first? Yeah, there we go. As I said, I kind of know things that happen. I just don't know exactly the order. Yeah. I could use my missiles here. Maybe it's a good thing to start off with. It's, it's going down. It's not perfect at the moment. Oh. Need some health. Obviously, this is not the optimal way to uh, do this fight. Oh, heads come off. Heads come off. There we go. Fort defeated. Bomb already got. Frog face. I I wasn't really paying much attention to the frog face. I have to say, I was a little distracted by all the uh, the clawing and other things that were going on there. But yes, now I have my bombs, and yeah, I am I am not good at this. I think I'm just randomly putting bombs down here. So if I get any any kind of height here, that's yeah, that's that's just just luck. Um, but yeah. I'm sure there was a train of thought I was on there, but um, we have a slight derail in that train of thought. Right, so now I have bombs. Yeah, let's let's have a look at the map because I can go back out to my ship. Um, uh, I suppose after doing a fight, I should go to a save point or another, and I think well, I'm kind of equidistant really. Not sure I'm familiar with AM2R. Metroid 2? Something? Oh, yeah, the flashing's back outside here again. So, maybe could go other ways, but I think I'll just go back this way. Yeah, for sure, Maker Metro 2. Okay, um, I may have seen that um, mentioned about, but obviously not uh, recalled too much about it. Oh yeah, these annoying things. 
Even when they're dead, they're still annoying. 3DS remake. Yeah, I was, I was thinking of uh, getting that 3DS remake, but I've kind of looked at videos and it's like, does this look really, you know, uh, good to control and all that kind of thing and, and that. I don't know. I mean, the only real way to, to find out is to to play it and... Uh, do I want to, to drop the money to play it if I find out that I don't like it? Come on, back over here. Oh, no, 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 where are you? There you go. Any tank. Shine spot. Oh, yeah, there was some good uh, ones in either Fusion or both Fusion and uh, Zero Mission. I think the Zero Mission had the one which was kind of like a really long... Um, Shine Spark puzzle. I think there's something under here, isn't there? At some point, at least. Or is that a speed boost thing or whatever? I don't have my power bomb, so I can't see. Oh yeah, these. Don't need to missile you. Yeah, as I said, I know the general idea of the game, but I don't have the. Uh, Specifics all sorted out in my head. Five. What's over this way? See, this is a point where the map doesn't show anything until you go through the door. Ah, I think this is the thing I was thinking of earlier with the statue through here, isn't it? Yeah, the statue. So the entrance to New Torian, I suppose, or just Torian as it's called here. But uh, here we go. And yep. Yeah, yeah, so the, the little eye gems all pop out when you defeat these particular bosses. We have our friend at the top, Ridley. Say hello, Ridley. We are going to actually take, be able to take him down the next time we see him. And we have Craig here, our other other friend. And um, Dra Dra Dragon... No, it's his Fantoon in the middle, isn't it? And is it Dragon on this side? Guardians, but yeah, this this will be more um, something more will happen here when Dragon, yeah, when when we uh, we defeat those uh, those four bosses, which, as you can imagine, are spread out all over the place. Oh, yep, yeah, can't do that shot on that one. Oh yeah. Can I destroy that thing with this? Yeah, I can. Just as a interesting point, can I? Nope, can't do that with them. Need something a little bit more uh, substantial. Still getting my buttons confused. This is not run button. Yeah, the run is not a huge different. Well, I say it's not a huge difference. This is one of the things that tripped me up before, not knowing that this other run existed. Just the thing that's going to come up at some point. Just reposition myself a little bit here. Some very, very good music in this uh, this game. Oh, these. Hoppy, hopping friends. And, yeah, bombs, there we go. Uh, 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 come on. Oh, another map room. It's very nice. Map data, what do we have? So yeah, I think the first thing that tripped me up on my first playthrough was that um, going through the floor because I thought you had to have the bombs to do that to get to the first missile thing. Um, what did this add to my map? Just just Brinstar itself. There's a bit of Meridia down there. Up to Crateria. And yeah, just 
take a note of like the little dots which show where power-ups are and the S's which show where our save points are. But yeah, there's, as I said, the, the bombing through the floor which caught me the first time. There's this, this not knowing I had this extra run thing which caught me the first time. And there's, I think, the thing which catches mm, probably mostly everybody, which I won't say at the moment. But... Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things which, which aren't explained. The Brinstar music. I'm, I'm thinking of like the original Brinstar music because I really like that. Um, the, you know, Metroid Brinstar music that you get at the start. I think this is the thing which I need. Uh, yeah. I'm not quite sure if I do that right now or not. See, this is one of the things. I know that there's a thing with running and that. And I know it's something like this. Is It's just, is this exactly what I'm thinking of? Because, yeah, that's going to make me... Do, 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 do. Yeah, they all just activate those. Can I bomb through any of this here? Can I shoot up? No, I can't do the uh, the speed trick thing here. So, as I said, it, it's, it's caught me out before, because I know vaguely you're supposed to do something, but maybe it's not this at the moment. Maybe I have to wait for something else. Let me just change to this. Yeah, that's not working either. I think maybe it's more than one thing that I need. Uh, no, no missiles. More than one thing that I need to do that. But there's plenty of other map to explore at the moment. So we'll just do a bit of that. So I, I hope the... Um, the title of the stream has changed from testing for everybody else. It's not, not for me, um, but uh, hopefully other people can see that I've put a Metroid on there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So now I don't have. Yeah, I don't have enough bombs to do anything here. Where are the enemies that I can destroy? I think that's, yeah, save point. That's not going to have any enemies for me. Missiles, thank you very much. Now, which way first? Which one looks more likely to get us? Well, there's a power-up down that way. Thing is, is it behind somewhere? Oop, no, wrong one. Is it behind somewhere? It's not testing anymore, that's good, yes. So I, I changed it to uh, Let's Get Lost, which is uh, very appropriate for this game. Yeah, and you can shoot these little things, but as you can see, they're kind of little uh, glow bug things. And uh, shooting them causes these things to go a bit, bit dark. Hmm. Reload station, is that just a reload station then? There's nothing... Hang on. I don't have the other uh, ball jump thing. Spring ball. I think maybe that thing's just indicating that. Which is one of the quality of life improvements which I like from the uh, some of the other games is they kind of give you an indication of whether you've actually picked up power-ups in that area. Oh, yeah, that was actually a good choice because I do need to go through there. Uh, 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 uh. He's flying. Hopping? Can you really call it hopping if it's on off the ceiling? 
It's more dropping than hopping, really. Oh, for a power bomb at this moment. To clear out all those things as best as I can. And yeah, this is a speed booster floor. I think because if you, if anybody watched my um, little test thing, this is kind of where I was, and I did the little uh, test thing here, I think. Or maybe that was in my uh, test playthrough. I can't remember. Yeah, these annoying things. Let them drill into the ground. Dive kicking. <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a different game, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure if it's kicking or not. Let's go up towards the save point. Always a good thing. Make sure you have save points available. And check if the save points are uh, available. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, happy friend. <laughs> this, ooh, doesn't this look ever so suspicious? And it's right near where it says the save point is on the map. I suppose dive bombing is more, more thing. Yeah, we've got diving, swooping. To be honest, I'm, I think I'm doing a, a better job than I thought I would do at keeping up with the chat, and I think I'm doing a better job at I am do it. Uh, I thought I would do at uh, playing the game as well. Uh, no, the wrong thing. Uh. Leave me alone. Uh, oh, do I have to kill the things to go through there? I think I do. Hi, friends, or not friends, really. Frenemies, maybe. Yeah, and especially if you have to kill them. This is, yeah, this is just vanilla Super Metroid. And oh dear, I've just walked into a boss room. Do I have to... yeah. So I think in the other games as well you don't have to do the select to... ah! To get your missiles prepared. So it's ah, a lot ah, easier. Good job I got that energy tank when I did... Yeah, because pushing the select and then doing a thing is not always the best. Right, do that. Boom, boom. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, ah. I mean, although this is kind of a slow, I say, I I'll hesitate to say easy boss, because, you know, anything can happen. <laughs> Technically, the first boss, Ridley, um, was an easy boss that you uh, shouldn't die to. Ah! You got speedy friend here now. Ah. Just don't drop any of those little pollen things down on my head, and I think we'll be okay. I think I have enough energy just to tank this out if I need to. But uh, ah. Come on, open up. Ah, here we go again. Yeah, I mean I could be trying to shoot down all the polleny bits and whatever, but uh, I think this is just the safer option at the moment. Oh, right, oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go, and we got a nice power ups and things. Aha, yes, of course. Now, I don't have the thing I need to get back through that door. If you don't know the game, different doors are color coded. Oh, and well, I missed the. Hmm, never mind. Uh, yeah, different doors are color coded. 
and that one is green which means it's a power bomb door which i don't have the thing for at the moment what is this little thing little boom box. good game that's good <laughs> Audrey two um not quite as um flamboyant as Audrey two really and yep yeah, there we go all the way down. I'm not spinning, so I can't do any fancy jumps off the walls here. Oh, hello. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Hmm. I was wanting a super... Uh, not a super missile. Uh, no, a super missile. Oh. Hey. Forget my... Um... <laughs> Flamigrant. I don't think my brain's in the right place to, 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 to work out that pun quite at the moment, but... Seems good. Uh, ooh, yeah. So try and keep my mind on on just uh, one thing at the moment. Ah, yeah. Yellow isn't it for uh, power bombs, and then super missiles is obviously this one. Hey, I'm sorry, my friends. I didn't mean to knock you out there. Ah, okay, fine. I'm going. So is that flamboyant and I don't know. <laughs> As I said, I'm I'm too too much my head trying to do multiple things at once. Friendo's back again. So Best to head to the save point, I think. Die. Yep, yeah, there we go. Save point. Now that's the power bomb door that I was talking about. Um, yeah, I should be able to get to the thing. <coughs> yeah, this thing on the uh, ceiling below me. That's another thing which we'll get, which can't remember if I am happy with the control of it or not because it can be a little bit uh, nerve-wracking at least So I can do a save. There we go. So what next? So I do have the super missiles, but I don't recall seeing too many things which needed them. So what bits look too much like they're blue? Well, a lot of this area down here, really. Hey, 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 just leave me alone. I come in peace. Well, actually, no, I don't, but... Uh... Okay. So, yeah, we have swingy things over here. Spoiler, if you didn't know what it was. You swing over there. Uh, hi, 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 hi. Oh, no. Yep. Guess I'm down here, then. So, yeah, I can't go through there. Further down here. Hi, hi, all, all, all you... All you people who want my attention. Oh, hey, just sitting right out in the open. And, hmm, looks incredibly suspicious around here. And this is... Ah, good charge beam. Now, charge beam is good. Obviously, as, as you might expect, you charge it up, you fire something a little bit more... Um, stronger. And you also have this that you can do as well. You can kind of charge the uh, power into your suit, and if you jump into enemies with this, sometimes you can you can injure them. 
is this? Oh, oh, power bomb. Fantastic. Well, now that I've got the little purple thingy showing up on here, that I may or may not remember that this is a, p a power bomb accessible area. Okay, super missiles. Charge beams. Yeah, I mean, there's all the different kinds of beams as well, and the different combinations, aren't there? And I have never quite got into that. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm getting up, up there at the moment. Come on. Uh oh, oh. Big problems. I think I should just stay here for a little bit. The thing about this game, as compared to the first one, it makes collecting the uh, power-ups a lot easier. Yeah, um... I mean, uh, maybe you're getting confused with something else as well, but I think there are... I mean, you can select... Hang on, I'll... I'll get to it when I uh, finish doing some... Uh, energy farming here but there's the kind of almost to me at least seemingly pointless thing you can do in this game which if I move away from here if I go to no that's not the one this is the one uh, where are we Samus options here you can go between them you can turn them on and off so if I don't want to use the morphing ball for some reason I can turn that off if I don't want my bombs for some reason and yeah you can also do the same with the uh, beams here you can switch them on and off and you get different kind of combinations still not a huge reason to do it I mean there is one reason in this game which is another thing which has caught me when I first played through it um, but yeah and this doesn't look like I'm walking into any kind of trap, does it? Oh no, this looks completely safe. Surely a door which only opens what, one way is not a problem. And yeah, there is a thing you can do to open these doors multiple ways. I don't know if it's these specific ones or not. But uh, yeah, we're not going through the tricks in this one. In this playthrough. Ah, ah, ha. Ah. Sorry. <clears throat> we'll just we'll just talk like that for a bit. Ah, ha, ah, ha, 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 ha. <clears throat> Sorry, that was probably annoying. But uh, yeah, uh, this is this is the room which I was thinking of previously. I think the um, other room you may need the um, charge um, upgrade for. What's being said? Yeah, so this is, this is, you kind of need every beam at once. So basically, just as a demonstration, oh no, there are spikes above me. I do not want to jump when I'm trying to go over here. And oh no, those crumbly falls below me. This is a big dilemma for me. And yeah, if you don't know about the uh, faster run thing, you just end up doing that over and over again. The dog of wisdom, yes, I was kind of <laughs> imagining that. Ha, ha, papa, ha, papa, takata. Or whatever that is if you haven't seen the dog of wisdom look up dog of wisdom on youtube very uh short entertaining video yes indeed Ooh, got a change of music here now kind of spooky corridor and yeah I can do some kind of tricks to try and uh, yeah I can need another wall jump off there or I could try doing the the bomb jumping which I am not good at I haven't practiced the timing of this whatsoever so I am ooh, Ah, lost the rhythm. But yeah, you can get to other places if you can do these kind of tricks and things. Which is a very interesting thing about this. Oh, no. 
bum to you little clinger on a thingy. Nah. What is going to blow up here? That's a power bomb door or a power bomb block. So you've got the power bomb door beyond it as well. And a secret, secret place here. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I don't think I'm getting over back up here. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, kind of thing. Aha, recharge station. Just energy though, not uh, chewy things. Yeah, I mean the wall jumping I can do, especially when there's no enemies in the way. But uh, yeah, and this is one of the places which I got stuck before because of that uh, you can turn things on and off because if you get another power up, uh, spoiler, you can't make that jump. And so you have to be able to turn it off to be able to make that jump to get, you know, back that way. Oh yeah, little, ah, grabby friends. Hi, 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 not, not, not my di idea of a happy day. There's up here, and I think. Oh, right. Uh, I, yeah, that's got a super missile door up there. Oops, shoot through here. Yeah, uh, uh, not saying anything about that room. But people who know, know. And yes, this is... Hang on. Super missiles, cool. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not my super missiles. That's not my super missiles. That's a regular missile. My super missile goes boom! Or whatever the actual, uh... Where's my cow thing is. But yeah, that's, uh... Extra thing there. I said, let me try and remember it. Where's my super missile? Is that my super missile? It goes boom, boom. That's a regular missile. That's not my super missile. Oh, yeah, we could go talking heads with this as well. This is not my beautiful super missile. Where is the save point here? That is not a save point. That is actually a very dangerous point. This is... yeah. This thing, I don't think I can do anything with those. I think the route I actually want to take is through here. I am very, 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 very nervous that I haven't come across a save point yet. And this, do I go back through the floor again? Or is this through the ceiling this time? Because I did see a thing up there, or is it back through? Hmm. Can I? Nope, that doesn't work. See, having the power bombs here would be good since I could figure out where I really would want to go. Hmm. Or is it through here? Oh, I don't have any super missiles. I think I might be coming back over this way. Mm, power bomb doors. Right, which one's likely to be the save point? If one of them is a save point. Ah, here we go. I think one of the only rooms in, um, kind of the, the 2D Metroid, which has a exit door on both sides of the save point. I mean, I may be completely wrong, but I think it's a not a um, classic construction of room. And yeah, I could go the other way, but uh, I mean, there are other things which I could be doing. Going down there or going through here. 
lots of options open to me at the moment. Hmm. This does not look like I'm going to fall into any kind of trap here, does it? No, no, no. This looks completely safe. Oh, no. The floor crumbled away. Who could have predicted it? And, yeah, I think you can't do anything. Well, you could maybe actually. Can I get back through there just to try? Or is it just going to be awkward? Oh, no, I could. I could completely skip out on the entirety of that, but it's actually quite a useful thing. Is it up here? Yeah. Hmm, that looks like a very, very fancy shoe. And that gives my hydrant boots. I don't think I can actually see them on Samus's feet at the moment, though. But yeah, that makes you jump, well, as expected, pretty high. So now I'm making that as much easier than doing the uh, wall jumps. Oh, yeah, I don't want to fall back down there. Oh. <sighs> yes, of course. No, you... I really don't know why this is a thing. But, yeah. I have to get rid of that little crawly friend. Before can do other thing. Right. Going down might be difficult to get back up. Oh, why not? Let's save again. Yeah, no problem at all. Go to Ikea. Get that furniture. Probably buy something you weren't intending to as well. No. Right, okay, fine. Come here, all of you. Ah, I think this is the way out, isn't it? Yeah, these are the speed boost things. So yeah, I think this is kind of where I'm going, or where I'm being directed to without being, you know, having big signs pointing, oh, uh, yep, no, I'm not going that way. Well, I do have a big jump now, and I think there was an area actually up at the top where a big jump would have been very helpful. I mean, look at this, this is almost kind of silly how, how high I can jump right now. Yeah, that was another very hot room through there. If you didn't notice, the rooms I'm kind of going in and then coming straight back out of again are rooms which have uh, a very high heat, which my current suit that I'm wearing is not able to uh, to endure. Um, oh, I need soup with myself. Hmm. Right, I don't feel like going down the elevator again. But yes, anyway, the room is hot. When I uh, go through that, I... Oh, Samus gets hurt quite a bit. Actually, I think going down the elevator would have been a quicker option really here now. Ow, 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 munchy friend. No, no munchy friend. Yep, all I need is one. And right back into the munchy friend. Help, let me out. So, came for about an hour now. I'm not feeling actually too bad right at the moment. Um, didn't really have a plan for how much I'd be going for. I thought maybe one or two hours would be a, a good length of time for this first one. But as I said, I'm kind of not feeling too bad. Oh, great. I had to do that one, didn't I? There we go. Got through anyway. But, you know, we can come up here into this. Ooh, ever so spooky. Um salivating mouth thing um but yeah so yeah i didn't really have much of an idea of what i was going to do how long i was going to do time wise um but okay yeah as i said i've been going about an hour now 
don't actually feel too bad. Um, may feel it later, but uh, we shall see. But yeah, I mean, I don't think I've spoken ah, too much about it. I'm going to have to j get rid of all these, aren't I? Or am I? Help, save me. Secret passage. Oh, they just spat at me. But yeah, I have um, various issues with uh, my energy levels and such, so... I need to try and conserve them here and there, where I can. But having not done this in particular before, I don't know exactly how it's going to affect me. Um, so I will just have to see. Right. Do I need to get rid of these to go to wherever that blue section is? Uh, this is a, this is the good hiding spot here. I haven't used the uh, charge shot thing to uh, dive into enemies yet, have I? Ah! Hmm, doesn't this look ever so suspicious? Oh yeah. Take that. Very rude of you to block my shots. What? It hurts? It hurts me when you shoot me. I mean, perhaps there's a solution to this when neither of us gets hurt, but, um... Anyway, yeah, that was the fake Kraid, the very mini version. You say, that was the mini version? That seemed like a rather big kind of, um... Oh, friend. But, um... Yeah, we shall see. Oh, this is just a recharge point. Obviously save would be very uh, welcome, but I don't think I saved too long ago. Where's the map? Yeah, there's a save point back there. I think that's the one that you have to use. And, ooh, zoom in on that, on that corner next to where my icon is. You can see a little face there, which indicates a boss. And yeah, I've already said the uh, the name or thereabouts of, of such a boss. Oh, look, another another adventurer slash bounty hunter, whatever, didn't get this far. They um, got injured by... Hmm, I wonder what they got injured by. This space doesn't look very uh, dangerous at all, does it? Oh, there we go. Hi. I want to use... Let's use the super missiles for this, why not? Uh, great. Let's waste the super missiles on this. <laughs> and yeah. Hmm. Oh, there seems to be some kind of commotion going on over there. Oh, indeed, there is a commotion. Hi, Kraid. It's so nice to see you. Well, ah. Come on, open your mouth. There's a good Kraid. Uh-oh. We're going up there now, are we? Okay. Come on. Open wide. Say, ah ha ha ha. Can you do an open wide again? Oh, no. I'm going to be the saying, ah. Uh. You going down, Craig? Not yet. Okay. Ah! Come on. Show them the show everybody those teeth, Craig. Shows how well you've been taking care of them. Oh no! You down yet, Craig? No, yes, no. Yep. 
should have prepared my missiles. There we go. Very fortunately, didn't land on the um, what you call it? Spike. That's the one. Spike. So yeah, apart from the um, <clears throat> easy boss, I've been doing actually fairly well at the moment. I don't know if I see that uh, going on. But uh, yeah, so now we have the various loot. Um, I think this might help me go into those hotter areas. Yeah, it does. Just remembering what everything does. Show off a bit with my wall jumping. Yeah, for some reason charge it because I thought that was the run button. Right. Was this the recharge stations up here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, full up on that, but... Got some more missiles. I only have one super missile upgrade currently, so can't do anything with that. What did I actually... Oh yeah, it's a very suit. That's what I got from there. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Trying to remember. Yeah, I, ju I just thought the, 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 the much larger version of you. It wasn't... You're not all that impressive. Let's try and... Hang on. Is there a thing up here? I think there is at some point. No, I don't know. Hi. Can I do this fancy thing with you? Boop. Yeah, I can. Boop. Yeah, I... I Probably, ow, 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 ow. Can I charge shot them? Yes, I can. Save some missiles. So yeah, the um, charge spin jump thing can be a little dangerous. I need to blast back through there. My um, mantis esque mantis, would you call them mantis? I don't know why you would call them. I think they're just kind of hanging around. Yeah. Hi, 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 hi. Come to disrupt your little party there. Throwing things at each other. Doesn't seem very hygienic, really. No, not what I wanted to do. So, down there. I could go into North Fair, but I feel like maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know if there's much more I can get elsewise. Um. Ah, no, don't fall back down the hole. Hmm. Oh, you have to bomb to get out of here. Right. Oh, yeah, you friends again. Yep. This isn't just a dead-end room, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, that didn't work. Come on. Where's the secret in here? Because there is a secret in here somewhere. Do I have to go up a little bit with my bombs? that I'm not practiced at. Hmm. Think I'm going to need something a little extra to help me find out what's in there. If I remember. Head back out here. Because not only do you need the super missiles to get in here, you need the super missiles to get out of here as well. Do I go into North Fair or do I express, explore some other stuff? North Fair, I think. Because now I have my um, 
hot suit, <laughs> my various suit, which can protect me from the heat. Where's the save point? Save point's down there. Let's go for that first, just in case anything catastrophic happens. Oh yeah, and I didn't... Or did I? No, I did go through here. Oh yes, this is the charge thingy. So yeah, I can't do anything through there. And... Yeah. Is it up through the top place that I want to go? Yeah, I mean, I think some people who are very uh, good at this could do that. How about, is there a thing in the... F oh, there you go. You can go through the floor as well. You don't need to do that. I mean, if you wanted to just to show off, you know. Oh, Fancy Pants is here. Fancy Pants is here. Ah, Fancy Pants, please leave me alone. Or is it... Uh MC Hammer with his uh, parachute pants there. But yeah, getting my fancy new Varia suit or Varia suit or however you wish to pronounce it. I can go into these hot areas oh, with very little issues unless I fall into the uh, rather dangerous looking lava there. Heck, there is tectonic activity. I'm not sure that's helping. It's okay. We've got the, uh, ah, oops, Super Metroid equivalent of like Podobos there, or is it Podoboos? Oh no, the other. Help, let me back out. Sorry, did I make you fall off the wall there? Barrier. Varia. Yeah. I mean, I was considering kind of like a variable, like a variable temperature, that kind of thing. Like you got your little thermostat or AC inside the suit to make sure that... Uh, you don't get too hot, so that's kind of where my mind is coming from that. Oh, hi, thank you. So yeah, that's why I go with uh, Varia. Yeah. Fancy things. This does look a bit suspicious here. And I was right to be suspicious about it. There is some way through, I'm sure, here. Do I need my power bombs? Perhaps. No, I came from that way, didn't I? I need to get my bearings here. Yep, that's the button. That's the button. I'm going to press to get out of the menu. So just carry on over here. Oh, yep, down through here. Okay, maybe not there. There we go. So I'm quite happy that nobody's complained about the uh, the background, the uh, kind of purpley background I've got going on here. It's not like, oh my gosh, that's such an eyesore. I cannot watch with that. Ah. So fortunately, there hasn't been any of that. Because if you, if you can't tell, purple is probably my favorite color. And if you want the uh, special super secret inside knowledge and whatever, that's what uh, kind of what Rosine means. It 
it's uh, what they were going to call magenta, but they ended up obviously calling magenta. So yeah, it is. Magenta's kind of like a, a pinky purple anyway. I mean, you can get various shades of magenta in that. Um, I think I want to go another way. I don't seem to have much luck over here. So yeah, that's what Rosine in the name Katie Rosine means. The other part, Katie, means Katie. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh oh, this yeah, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh oh. It's all gone a bit wrong. Sorry, Samus. Where was I? Find the Metroid Lava Tray again. Oh. I should do a bit of a stretch first. <clears throat> See how I am. Actually, I'm kind of a bit warm here at the moment, but uh, I think I shall survive. Let's have a drink. So when I actually had a drink before I started the stream earlier, this did a nice little pop kind of noise. Didn't quite do it that time. I'm sorry if that was too loud or anything for you. But, uh, yeah. I think I'll play this as much as I can. If I get to two hours, I might just try and do something a little extra on the end. If I'm not having issues, but, uh, yeah. Got to have a little stretch and everything. Remember, everybody, have a stretch. Drink some water. Um, take meds if you need to. All that fun stuff. And try not to die in North Fair. That one might not be applicable to everybody, but... Yeah, I don't think I was too far away from anything when I saved. So, uh, yeah, of course, the, the best way to make sure you get through a section is to jump straight into the lava. Oof, oof. Yep, just shoot over the top of me and I'll try not to fall into the lava. This is our contract between us. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh dear, this is not going well at all. Hi, thank you very much for that. Please do that nice bouncing up and down, out of harm's way. Thank you very much. He's being very, very nicely compliant. Oh, no, I don't can't do that. Nicely compliant enemies at the moment. So I realise the language that I use might be slightly confusing, since I, you know, go between calling them friends and enemies. But, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have low energy. But, uh, hmm, yeah. So this is kind of like one of the reasons why I think, you know, why I decided to do streams and things like that, because some games like this, have a lot of um, exploring, getting lost, dying over and over, and you know, streams tend to lend themselves well to that kind of uh, experience. I don't want to fall through there, thank you very much. But yeah, streams to kind of lend themselves to that experience, I think. Whereas if you did it on a video, it's like you have encapsulated this thing in a a, a single unit to be consumed and though even though you could hi even though you could um 
you know, just do exactly this as what I'm doing here. Not as a stream, but as like a, a long form video. Sure. Yeah. But um, no, I don't know. It, it seems like in my mind, at least this is the the format for, for our doing this. And yeah, but I was also kind of saying like I'd obviously considering uploading these uh, streams to my YouTube channel as well. Oop. Um, you know, to have a save it a little bit, you know. So however long YouTube lasts. And um, Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my, my idea, but then it's kind of like, if I'm doing this long form thing as a stream and then uploading it as a video of a stream, it, it gets it's very uh, complicated philosophically, <laughs> at least in my head it does. Hi, MC Hammer, don't hurt me. Okay. Ah. Uh, hi, no, we do not wish to do that. We are all friends around here. Some of us may be shooting each other. But, uh, yeah. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Come on, where are you? There you are. Ah, oh, no, ah. <clears throat> yeah. Metroid can't crawl. I had a thought. I was thinking a thought. Oh, yes. The philosophy of streaming. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, of course, my interpretation of the word philosophy is probably not exactly what anybody who studies philosophy will be thinking of, but yeah, it's kind of like if it's a video of a stream, it seems okay in my mind, but if I just did this as a video to start off with, it wouldn't be. I don't know. So I was thinking possibly something which is a little too um, uh, above my pay grade philosophically, which is basically any philosophy really. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of a a comparison with the whole, you know, Ceci um, Napar and Peep. You know, this isn't a pipe. <laughs> so this is a video of a stream, not a a stream itself, so it's okay somehow, and it takes on a different quality. But yeah, as I said, way above my pay grade in, in philosophy. I just came with this elevator. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I think I had another thought of what I was going to do, which involves me being down there. So yeah, if I look at the map, what I'm intending to go is see the little S logo, the little Super Metroid, whatever, just a save point. Um, there, that little dot below it showing a room under there, that's kind of what I was thinking. Thinking of doing, going. So, uh, Hi, yes, I was looking you to get some health. Oh, yeah, of course there's this. Hmm, unless there's anything. No. What I really need is my power bomb so I can do some more investigating. Or another power up. Which I won't spoil too much on. Is there no way to go in North Fair at the moment? Is that what is that what it's trying to tell me here? Is it North Fair? Norway? Can I? Because I think I need the actual speed boosters to go through there as well. 
I think I want to investigate elsewhere. Yeah, the other pun I have about Norfair is like, that's Norfair. And it doesn't think it quite works, but you know. <laughs> Talking about this is not a pipe. Hi, hi, let go. Yeah, I think maybe I do. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. Maybe I do, maybe I don't want to come this way. Oh yeah, it's up there and there's a thing up there and I can't get up there. I will complete a thought one of these days. But I think because I was mentioning earlier that, you know, because of now I've got the high jump boots, this jump is very awkward if not impossible or maybe you can yeah you can do a wall jump but obviously if you're not proficient with that kind of thing it's like mm, how do i do this so you do as what i uh indicated before here you go into your samus menu you change off your high jump boots and then you can go back or you can just do the fancy thing with the um the wall jumping as i did and that's one thing which um is different with the wall jumping in this game. You can kind of do like a banana shot, as I call it, <laughs> and kind of loop back on yourself. Yes, energy would be very, very nice right now. Um, where in other games with like wall jumps, you can't quite do that. Ah, yes. There is a possibility I can get back up here, but I think this is indicating to me that yeah it doesn't really want me to do that so i think the business i have is in north fair now I mean, this is how this game directs you it doesn't give you big blurring signposts like for example zero mission does so i managed to pull this off the first time <laughs> and just can't there we go wrong shot uh yeah so i think zero mission has more of a go here go there do this kind of but still kind of vaguely what is this and uh, that looks like a way down and what is the other thing? The other one on the GBA that I mentioned before, Fusion, that's more of a, a directed, you have to go this way, you have to do this. And yeah, that's kind of a, I want to shoot a, shoot a thing, thank you. Yeah, that kind of upset people. And then they went and pulled the uh, other M thing again. So, Spacer. Spacer. Sp yeah. You don't want to play too much around with how, how you say that word, unfortunately. Can I blow this up? I do see something there, which indicates that I should be able to do such a thing. Can I go in over the top or something? Because that looks very suspicious, that little block there. But the, yeah, the spacer gun spaces out your shots. That is, that is my interpretation of the name. And yeah, that's kind of down where we were seeing before. So spacer gun doesn't really help me, even though it's a nice thing to have. Oh, very nice very very nice thank you very much okay back on to here and yeah that's only to show you that up there i think
So yeah, as I was saying before, I know some of the stuff about this game, how to do this, that or the other. But unfortunately, it's the things like this where I get stuck. Is there anything going to be further down? Well, that's exactly where I'm... No, that's not where I'm aiming. Yeah, that just goes into there and I don't think there's anything further that way. Hmm. So where haven't I gone? What haven't I done? Let's be a little methodical about this. Can I go through here? Doesn't look like it. And through here is the thing where I was getting stuck and I'm kind of considering that maybe it's here that I want to be thinking about making my way through. Because there definitely is something happening up there. Oh, hey, look, there's the powerbomb things over there. Hmm. Yeah, because I think the thing... You can get around this. Because you can't go through it. Dashing straight away. That, I mean, that is an idea. I don't have the full speed boost, but that is an idea. That actually might work. Oh! <laughs> it just didn't work. And I think that's why these are in place here, so that if you do do that, that's the case. And... Because there is a speed booster thing in Norfair, I'm pretty sure isn't there. And I've been through there. I don't think it's through there. I did say I was going to be methodical about it, but um, when I'm almost sure that I don't think I think I was blocked off this way as well. Yeah, by that. And I know you can do tricky things through there. So I need to come through that for another way. And this is the way with the speed booster blocks, which obviously I don't have the right speed booster to be going through there. I don't think there's any other way through. And that only gives us the other way here, which I might have given up on too, uh, too quickly. We've got hammer pants here. I mean, that may be a thing I thought of myself or I've heard somewhere else. I don't know. I just don't wish to steal credit from anybody. Is there anything further down on these? Hi. And then down here, yeah, I don't think that's going to help. And there is only the one way through here. Where we get the rumbling. No, that won't do anything with that. Because 
It might be this room. That's power bonds. So it might not be through he here. Ah, uh, hang on. This is some progress. I mean, I thought I tried everything with that, but ouch, ouch, thank you very much. But I think we've got something here. Then that's power bombs back out. So yes, I think this is what we're heading towards now. Mm-hmm. This other speed boost ones. Yeah. So what's down? Yeah. I don't have spoilers, the ones that can shoot through walls yet. Oh, hello. doors because always there has to be more than one door oh yeah this is your uh, very slow recharge point There's lots of things just giving me indications that there's different things that I'm going to find down here. And I'm not quite sure exactly which item I'm going to find. Ah, though this is definitely giving me... Mm, no. It's like when you think, aha, this is reminding me of a thing, and then it's like, oh no, it wasn't that thing that the thing was reminding me of. Aha, yes, hello you. And, yep. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? Ouch, 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 that's not the way to do it. And this one's very joyously sinking. It's leading me all around the place, isn't it? Oh, hello, jump out of friend. Uh, <laughs> jump out of floor, friend. They're like, surprise! It's your birthday! No, it's like, no, no, actually quite. No, it's, it's uh, not. Oh, I don't like big empty rooms really don't like big empty rooms. Hang on. Mm. So I'm kind of looping on myself here. But I really don't like big empty rooms. I mean, like, as I said, I kind of no bits and pieces and everything of this game but oh great thanks yeah i have to get up there good my nice 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 you telling me that but yeah yeah it's all that all that business up there which i would have to uh i'm trying to find a, a nice way of describing it Endure is the only only word that's coming to mind at the moment. But that's okay. Am I going to be best going to the save or is it actually going to lock me out? I feel it's going to lock me out, isn't it? 
Hi, I wish to not be on the screen. But yep. Switch back from that and then yeah, these Ooh, dangerous, dangerous platforms. Shoot through here. This better not be what it's all for. <laughs> I think there's another reason. Oh, and I think I know the other reason, and I can't do it. So, One hour forty six, it's saying. Oh, one hour forty seven now on my uh, uh, dash thingy. So it's no surprise that uh, my voice is slightly getting tired. Hi, lots of friends in here. And hmm, seems to be a thing in the ceiling. Uh, let me just take a short little drink. Right. Up through the ceiling. Yep, there go the friends coming out of the thing. There may be a way through there. Because it's like I know the kind of tricks that Super Metroid likes to to do. It's just that I don't know if, whether it's in this place or another place. Uh, oh, okay, that makes me fall down. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I think I know. Yeah, this looks very, very much like I know what's coming down here. And I can run over it. This is something we've been waiting for for a little bit. What's behind this door? Oh, <laughs> didn't want to use that. Yes, it's the speed booster. Whee! And, yeah. The earthquake starts is what the earthquake reminded me of earlier. Whoosh! Shine. Oh, no. It's going to be a shine spot. No. Didn't work. There's possibly a way to get out, out, additional things. Yes, yeah, speed booster! Yay! Gotta go fast, not the quite right game. But still. And this over here. Oh, this over here is where my save point is. Oh, right. Um, so I may decide now to end this because where do I need the speed booster? It's back over the left side of the map, isn't it? Um, okay, I'll go to the next save point and then see how I'm feeling about doing something else just to end off the out, out, end of the stream. Or if I die here, then we can end things for Super Metroid at least. And yeah, I'm obviously considering coming back to this ah, some other day as well. Don't have a schedule or anything uh, planned. I may have mentioned that before. <clears throat> Excuse me. I may have mentioned that before. Yes, my voice is definitely having having some issues talking this long now. But yeah, so I don't have a um, a schedule for anything. 
this is kind of a good time for me as long as you know my energy levels as I say are holding out and um, my sleep pattern is, is, is being reasonable but um, yeah there's a lot to consider I mean having a sleep schedule can I mean having a streaming schedule can help to have a sleep schedule but obviously I'd have to do the streaming enough and yeah I just as I said I need to kind of work out how oh, doing you know however long a stream I do today ends up um, affecting me <laughs> Excuse me. in the next few days so do the sonic speed hang on hang on hang on i don't really have you know it's, it's not the same kind of thing with sonic i mean we can get a ball and we can get like the the speed thing going but we can't quite get the uh rolling around at the speed of sound going unless we figure out how to do the mock ball thing which i'm really not very good at or we play a different metroid game Yeah, I mean, if you want it close enough, it's like rolling around at the speed of sound, got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow, yeah, that kind of thing. Favorite power up? Um, yeah, considering I can't get over there, I think I know what it might be. As long as I can thread the. Ah, oh, oh, bugger. <laughs> right back round to go. I got scared. Hi, hi, don't shoot, please, thanks. There we go. Is the floor safe? beam this will help us out quite a bit can also hinder slightly with its freezing of things which you don't want to freeze in a specific spot which you can do like a one hit kill on with certain weapons but um, you can't do when you have the ice beam but yeah I mean if just imagine if you were frozen by this ice beam and then you thought out how itchy that would be Oh, no, I want to go back to the top, don't I? Want to go back to the top. Ice bean. I could do with an iced coffee, actually, at the moment. Unfortunately, if I wish to have an iced coffee, I need to make it myself. Plus, I need ice. I have a freezer, but I don't have the necessary equipment to make ice, at least without it um, making possibly a huge mess. Which, oh bugger, I want to get over there, don't I? Yeah, here we go. Or I don't want to get over there, I mean I don't know if I actually need to or what. But yes, I have made a, a little bit of a, a mess with... Um, a makeshift ice cube tray previously so I kind of had like a like a tray from like some art rates or something like that and uh, put water in that when they're not really de designed for that kind of thing so yeah it got a crack in it and leaks so not good Samus is a descendant of Sonic. Yeah, I mean... Uh, sorry about bumping the mic. I mean, how much do Chozo and Chow, is it, sound the right? Sound the similar? Chozo, Chow. Both... Well, one's an ancient civilization, the other one's kind of a little... Uh, whatever they are. 
animal thing. Pokemon, whatever. But yes, this is saved. I, yeah, I will do a, oh no, oh no, my mouse is working. I will do just in case, where is it, what they, where do they have the save game position? We'll save that slot one. Okay. Whew. So, yeah, as I said, um, I am going to try and do something else here. I had thoughts. I was saying thoughts. Try... Friend droplets. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a possibility. <laughs> Just indeed something you could call them. <sighs> right, I don't really have things easily set up here. A limited amount of space for things. Um, to load things up, how oh, I need to load things up. Oh, did you hear that sound? Do people know what I might be doing here? Um, where do I want to go? Uh, this one. Beep boop, indeed a beep boop. Not quite as great because of emulation, but uh, indeed a beep boop. So we'll go with this one. Now this is something that I have previously. Hang on, I should be able to just... Uh, yeah, there we go, yeah. Mm. It's kind of a little off. Let me... Do, there we go. Um, this might be a bit small for me, but I can probably see things. This... I mean, I'll, I'll, oh, no. Um... This, I'm trying to do too many things all at once. I want, see, I, I did my test stream and the logical keyboard mapping didn't work, but then this needs this to work. Ah, yeah, I don't want these sound effects on either. Where's disk drive sound effects? Somewhere, options. Um, sound. You'd think it would be in sound. Sound effects, here we go. Disk drives, take that off. So yeah, this is the thing I played on my channel. I, you know, only try to do short videos um, on my channel. Um, I obviously talked about it earlier in the stream about my philosophy of streaming. I can't help but laugh when saying that. Woo! So, tell me about the... The loudness of this. Is this too loud for my voice? Is it too loud if I don't get quite too close to the mic? Is this really annoying? It's alright, a little loud. Okay, cool. So it needs a bit of ugh on the fly adjusting. But, but, but I don't think this music goes on through the entire thing. Um, I... There we go. So, what's it? Spacebar, jump, shift, accelerate, return, stop. Um, so, main main one, accelerate. Very important one, jump. Another one I find out, uh, found out on when I played this before. Um, stop is also quite useful, but also very awkward. So yeah, this is Dead Devil Dennis. This is a game I played on my YouTube channel. Um, I really should think about getting my YouTube channel set up to be in the um, description below the stream, but I haven't done that at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Dead Devil Dennis. It's a PC micro game, um, and well, you can read it here. I probably read it out when I did the video, but here we go. I like doing reading out of things. Uh, Dead Devil Dennis is making his debut in a new film as a stunt man. He must pick up gold and avoid any obstacles in his way. The director will fire Dennis if he needs more than three takes. However, Dennis's contract is extended if the director is impressed. And yeah, I do need a drink. <laughs> so excuse me if I don't stomach peak quite so much. Um, but yeah, so... Well, there's three controls. We can have a go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, let's start off with novice, because I'm not... Oh. 
I'm not feeling very um, brave. So excel. Oh no, that's jump. Accelerate. That's accelerate. Dennis needs to jump a house. Uh oh. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Everybody, guess what happened? <laughs> <sighs> Sticky keys lets you use the Shift, Control, Alt or Windows logo keys by pressing one key at a time. The keyboard shortcut to turn on Sticky keys is to press the Shift key five times. Disable this keyboard shortcut in Ease of Access keyboard settings. Ah. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, okay, Dennis. Dennis is going to do a bit of crashing there. Where's my control panel here? Where is it? Oh, I'm not used to Windows. 10. Yep, sticky keys. We got the sticky keys. Can I just do a search? For, not, not stitch. Stitchy keys. Here's the keys. Where are we? No, please. Why? I mean, it. it, it, it they allow the shortcut to start sticky keys. No, please. I mean that should be just a, a, a very default. Oh, hang on. Ah, ah, hang on. Hang on. Let's 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 let's. I'm just feeling like doing that currently at the moment. Control break. Because you know it's the BBC Micro emulator. I just feel like doing BBC Micro things. Yeah, is it the sticky keys is the thing that probably should pop up right at the start of any Windows installation. It's like, hey, do you want us to annoy you with sticky keys or not? Or do you have actual uh, a legitimate use for sticky keys? Because obviously that's the reason that it exists. However, oh dear me, um, yeah, it should be definitely a thing because it's definitely a thing. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, we 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 saw this. I think we have to sit through it a bit. Oh no, here we go. Um, but yeah, obviously there is a legitimate use for sticky keys. I don't need it, so. Spacebar start. We are feeling very, very novice. But then if Windows didn't do things to annoy you, what would it be? It certainly wouldn't be Windows, would it? Jump! Uh-oh, ambulance is catching up. Cool. Uh, what was, that one's jump. Oh, too late. Space is jump. Shift accelerate, space jump. I think on these novice levels you don't really need the brake. Oh no, that's going to land straight on top of the house. I think on these novice levels you don't really need the brake so much. But yeah, I haven't played this since I played it on my channel. So... This is kind of mostly learning things once again. You are fired! Yay! I didn't want to be a stuntman anyway. <laughs> Trick shot. Yeah, I mean, if you were actually given kind of um, prizes or anything for landing on top of the house, you know, I'd be a, a, a prize winner. Hey, 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 ambulance. You're supposed to save people from accidents, not cause them. Oh, no, this is my I might need the brake. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, I kind of got my um, OBS, which I'm using to... Oh, no, that's the brake. And then I... Oh, no. <coughs> yeah, I've got my OBS in a window, which, with the black edge to the screen, it's a bit confusing because I thought there was another row to go when there wasn't. So I've just moved my... Uh, Emulator window, that's jump. Oh, I should probably change the uh, title of the stream as well, shouldn't I? Now watch out for the whale. So the whale, no! Right, no, I can change the um, stream info here. The stream. Now... Doing some daredevil stunts. There we go. Oh, let's see if it's in the category, shall we? Daredevil 
De no, it does not have Daredevil Dennis in the categories for Twitch. What a shame. Ah, right. Do I feel like my sarcasm meter has been a little bit high today? Yeah, retro is also always nice. Um, oh, you mean in the... In the <laughs> I thought it just meant as in general. Yeah, retro, yeah, you can always go for a retro game. Normally short little games like this, which uh, take a little bit of skill, a little bit of practice, a little bit of patience, a little bit of luck. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I think what you mean by that is the uh, 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 category. So, I've only got 40 wages, 60 wages now. I'm imagining this is pounds. I mean, I don't th think this, you know, the level of risk required for this is quite in line with the rate wages that I'm being paid here, even counting for inflation. Spider, 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 spider! Or oh, octopus bungeeing. I can't tell. Snowman! Or whatever your gender is. I may have already made that joke in my video. <laughs> I can't recall, it was a while ago I made that video. I mean, honestly, just a week ago is a while ago enough for me, really, but... <clears throat> helicopter? Hello, helicopter? Or hello, copter? <laughs> As you can, yeah. Take three. Oh, standing star for a jump is not... Not very good. I am fired once again. Though that's just adding insult to injury. I mean, literally. Because <laughs> just imagine. £480 I got paid today and got fired on the same day. <sighs> right, that's, that's all the drink that I actually had available to me. Um, yeah, so as... This is kind of like the general idea of what I want to do with um, streams and things like that. Is just, you know, play various things which kind of interest me here and there. I did prepare another game, so we'll just go for that one. And then when I get... Uh, um, not good in that one. <laughs> brain going, help, send brain. Um... But yeah, so this one, if you've ah, watched, sometimes I'm so used to the layout of the BBC Micro when I'm using a BBC Micro emulator that I use the <laughs> uh, BBC microphones. All the threads of my conversation spreading out all over the place, going everywhere. But yes, I played this recently on my channel. Um, and big warning, spider. Uh, so I should probably change that in stream info as well. Now, yeah, the Daredevil stunts didn't last for very long. Um, but yeah, as I said, this is a thing that I could, this is good for streaming as well. I might come back to these things here and there, try a little bit more. As, as I said, it just kind of seems more to the format um, and that. So this one... I'll say that. Boffin about! <laughs> Perhaps could be taken the wrong way, but, you know do a bit of boffin. Oh yeah, what reason why I, I was thinking of changing the stream title is because I do need to put the warning for the spider when it comes up because I know at least one person who is not very fond of spiders whatsoever and 
I don't know why I dropped into this accent at all, but we shall stick with it. <laughs> Probably because my voice is tired, but yeah. <laughs> Boffin! Now, do I remember what I'm doing here? I need to change the controls. Uh, so, yeah, I think... Yeah, when I was playing it before, the I, I was playing it on a different computer. Yeah, I have a laptop, which I'm using as kind of like a second screen. You don't need to know all this, but I'm telling you this anyway. I have a laptop, which I'm using as like a, the second screen for the stream manager thing on Twitch, so I can see the chat, so I can see a bunch of other stuff. And then I've got my PC, which I'm actually doing the streaming of the game through OBS on. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a little bit easier because I don't have two monitors available to me now at the moment, but uh, yeah. Behind the scenes. Anyway, Boffin, do I remember that is jump? If you haven't seen this, as I said, recently played on my channel. If you want to see my first go at this, you can go there to see that. Yeah, could go there anyway. But basic things, if you haven't seen the game, Boffin here, the Boffin, a Boffin, whatever they actually are, has to go around collecting things in the level and then go meet their friend, the Owl. And has an umbrella, which can be used to break fall, or can be used to pick things up. <coughs> so yeah, as I said in like my stream announcement thing on uh, YouTube, oh bugger, as I said in my stream announcement thing on YouTube, as I am going to say now, if I remember what I was going to say, oh yes, I idea for streams just kind of play games I'm kind of interesting in and I want to share which is basically like the idea for my YouTube channel you know there's lots of things I want to share but some of the things I want to share are kind of more you know suitable for streaming uh, some of the things I kind of thought about doing videos on before and it's like I'm not actually good enough to do videos on these things but I still want to share them with people who haven't seen them um, so yeah, this is an awkward thing to get, because I can't quite get it with the umbrella there. If I jump, uh, umbrella, there we go. And then, still too close to the owl. Because I want to collect whatever that last bowl thing is. Yeah, I still haven't looked up the, uh, any kind of instructions of this, but it's mostly straightforward. There's probably a story associated with it. Um, the where I would look is probably like on something like, um... Stairway to Hell Archive, if if that's still up, I'm assuming that's still up. I uh, haven't actually looked at it in a, a little while. Oh, yeah, clipped myself on the edge of the trampoline. But yeah, there's got uh, like scans of uh, disc covers, tape covers, things like that. And um, yeah, that could give the information that would usually have been given along with the game when you got it because yeah this as if you couldn't tell is a game that's old enough to have or a computer that's old enough to have games that came on tapes and you had the not sarcastically at all actually very delightful <laughs> tape loading sounds as I said, absolutely non-sarcastic. I'm known for being sarcastic, of course. But here, absolutely non-sarcastically. You know, tape sounds almost the f first kind of... I hesitate to say ASMR because it's not quite the same thing, but, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like the background noise, the soft rainfall that you can get from, you know, websites and apps things like that and um yeah it's just a nice kind of the, the, it's like the the dial-up modem sound which some other people might be more ow familiar with it does have that 
<laughs> I'm kind of hesitating to say soothing. Um, but it does have that uh, quality. I don't know what I'd call it. Glitch aesthetic. That kind of that kind of thing. Nope. Oh. Uh, now I put the spider warning in the uh, title thing. I should probably at least try to get to the spider, because that's where I failed before, if I do recall correctly. Hey, can we get higher up? Thank you very much. Ah, uh, my boffin got buffed by the trampoline. Uh, right. And I think I figured out what the game thing is on the side. It's just basically how many games have been played. So yeah, these are the ones that are basically default. So they're not. This is the first game I played, so it's the one. Yeah, Boffin got nerfed. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of another word. I don't know what the word is. some reason I'm thinking of the Lion King associated with the word I'm trying to think of and I didn't I really don't know what I'm thinking of Yeah, made that mistake multiple times before. Where are we going? Okay, so I think I should set myself a deadline. If I don't get this by two and a half hours of stream, so that's kind of about 15 minutes time. If I don't go back to the spider by then, I will stop because I think I need to to stop soon. <clears throat> as you can see my voice is not holding out quite as well as it possibly could be. So if I are uh, is this gonna work? Yay, I got the ball thing now. Hi no Owl, thank you Owl. Yeah, back here. Up we go. See, I don't know what these certain things do for this boffin. I'm thinking there's some kind of science experiment going on here. So bowls of dubious liquid certainly seem to be um, in character with, with that kind of thing. But um, uh, horseshoes? I'm not sure. Right. How can I get over to Owl? Owl, no. Ooh. Right, so how old is this and on what system is this running? This is BBC Micro Game. I did say, but I probably kind of fluffed up my words in that. But yes, BBC Micro, um, how old is this? I mean, it's around during the 80s, really. Um, can't say exactly. Ooh, there's a spider. Watch out for the spider. But um, yeah, um, it's around during the 80s. Um, 
specific game, it might have had some kind of date on it. I didn't pay attention to that. Um, but yeah, just um, it had... Oh, somebody else probably in chat can remind me if they're still around. Um, I think it was a 6502 processor in it, which is similar to like the NES and some other computers which I'm not exactly familiar with. But yeah, I think it's kind of like on that kind of level of one of the chips at least. But yeah, I think about um, around about when the, the NES was around, C64, and that kind of thing. Hi, I wish to get this. So it's uh, a computer, home computer, that would have had a keyboard. And it had its own version of BASIC. And this is the scary part of this. I do not wish to get caught by the spider. Oh. And I must remember to put the umbrella up. But yeah, so the, uh, as I say, the... Uh, Software would come on tapes or discs. It did have a disc drive or a, a few different disc drives available that you could buy. The one that's being emulated here, I think, is the ADFS. I can look it up in the hardware, I think. Where are you? Um, options, BBC model, I don't know. <laughs> it, it said something similar on the thing. Um, I don't know if it's the Watford one or something else. Um, I'm imagining Watford are named after something like Watford Gap, which is a place in the UK. Um, and BBC Micron obviously <laughs> named after the BBC because they had a learn to com do computing thing um, way back in the day. And they uh, they needed a computer, a standard computer, which they were going to use. And because obviously, like PCs weren't really, you know, the the main ah yeah bad idea, bad idea. PCs weren't the main um, computers that really were available. Um, I mean, you know, what I mean by PC it means personal computer, doesn't it? So it could mean any kind of home computer, but. Um, the PC as we understand it, with like the uh, Intel, AMD processors, whatever, they weren't, um, you know, the the kind of leaders of, of, of computing as, I'll hang here and talk about this, the leaders of computing as, uh, as it is nowadays. Um, so yeah, the, the PC needed us like a standard computer, and so they asked the company, Acorn, um, to you know, provide something for them and uh, I don't know whether it was called the Proton before or after but um, that's what the I think the what you call it um, in development name for this uh, computer was uh, the Proton I sorry if I remember correctly um, and they had a more budget version of it called the Electron you can see a theme here um, but uh, yeah so they um, the BBC approached Acorn. Acorn said, yeah, we can do a computer for you. Uh, put this one together. And there was a lot of, I don't know how many actually, uh, but there was things on the actual BBC itself about how to program a computer in the BASIC that's on this here, which is kind of similar to, to BASICs that you might be aware of. Um, but yeah, then the next computer, I think, from Acorn was the Archimedes. They kind of went away from the whole parts of the atom thing um, uh, in the naming but obviously you wanted to make it sound smart and I went to the Archimedes and I think that didn't do quite as well as I said if there's anybody watching you know so they can correct me um, but then they went on the actual company went on to do more um, processor I think it was like the ARM processors and things like that which you may have a derivative of in your phone a mobile phone it might have an arm processor and that would have came from the the company who did this also because obviously i have to mention this and because the colors on the screen here are just just so perfect for this at the moment um one of the people at least one of the people who produced this computer the bbc micro was a trans woman 
Uh, Sophie Wilson, I think her name was. Is I don't know. I uh, I could look at the Wikipedia page, but you know, whatever. But if you're interested in some trans history in the UK, there you go. Um, oh, time ran out. My boffing got dizzy. Just rang in on the impeller. I should probably actually play the game. But yeah, just a little history lesson as well. Ah, which you may not have been expecting. But uh, yeah. So a lot of people who grew up like in the 80s and possibly going into the 90s in the UK would be familiar with the, the BBC microcomputer because it would have been um, in the school. Because it would have been in the school computer and didn't really have... Ah! <coughs> Excuse me. Computer labs, as, as it were, but there were like computer rooms or maybe a classroom had a computer and it would have been... Most probably one of these PPC micros. And, um, oh, too close to the. Wow, that. Yeah. Anyhow, I think that's um, winding up to the end of the stream. Oh, top of the scoreboard. Yeah, winding up to the end of the stream here. Um, but yeah, um, my mind is. <laughs> there's different topics I could hit on here, but uh, I think we'll just kind of try to, to wind up here. But. Since we're mentioning it, Acorn DFS, there we go, that's what the disk filing system is for this here. And that is what happens when I do the star... Ooh, now I've changed it over, it's asking me the way it is on the BBC Micros keyboard, star dot. Um, and there you go, that's the disk filing system bringing up the... Uh, what's it, the... Um, would it be the boot sector or the library or whatever of the disk, the directory? That's I'll be what's on the screen there, directory. And you have your boot thing, which is what happens when you push on the computer shift break. Since on PC keyboards there isn't a break, break here is mapped to F12 because it wouldn't have had that key. Very confusingly, if you want to do this kind of thing, the F keys actually went from, I think, F0 up to F9. And were red and very pretty. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so um, there was a break key as well as an escape key. And the break key would, you know, that's it. Get you out of program, that kind of thing. So when you push shift and break, you get this uh, the little, I think the exclamation mark boot thing would load up. And it would tell it what else to load up on the screen here. And yeah, this has a basic in it. So you, if you want to do print... Uh, where's the... that's not it. Where is it on the... there it is. It's in the usual place on the BBC Micro Keyboard. That's good. So print... let's go boffin. You can do that. Print boffin. And you can do your 10... print... Uh, no, not boffin. Boffin. And then 20. Guess what? Go to 10. There's different ways of printing out. Um, once we've done this, we can we can get to that. But if we push run, boop, boffin, 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 escape will break the uh, escape will escape into the program, I suppose, and then break reset the computer. But you can also do a control break, which does like a complete reset on the thing. Um, but yeah, now I've lost. Do I, can I do old? Yeah, that's my uh, program here. I'm going to be mostly replacing the program anyway. Because it's easier. There is a copy key. Um, and the uh, arrow keys will go up to different lines. So you can like, copy character by character. Um, but we'll do boffin again. But this time with a space. And I think you do that after it. I say run. Oh, yeah. Don't want to do that too much. Might hurt your eyes. But... There we go. Uh, so, yeah. Um, thank you, everybody, for dropping by. Yeah, sorry, Scarlett. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yeah. But uh, there, there's more into this. There's actual programs. Let me... Let me... Let me just check something. I, I am going to be wrapping up here, but I want to... Is this the way to do it? No such variable. Okay, it's load off in like that. Bad program. Yeah, it's probably not a basic program, but you can look at certain programs with this. 
Um, do I actually have something quickly to show here? Micro games, I probably do. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to quite whisper like that. Games. I did put a thing down here. So let me get out of this. This is a thing I played a little while ago on my channel. I put Dino. Oh, no. Uh, is it? There's various ways to start programs here. Is it Dino like that? No, oh, Dino. No, that's not it. That's just a <laughs> bad program. Yeah. Um, I wrote down how to load this up. Is it just run dino? No, it's not run dino, is it? Run dino. Oh, it's not run dino, is it? Star run. <laughs> oh dear. Dino, because I'm sure it's just, yeah. Oh, there we go. So, some amount of fiddling about on the keyboard. Ooh. Managed to make the program start. Um, but yeah, there's different ways to do it. If you want to tape, there's certain commands you have to type in and get it at the right memory address and all that kind of thing, which is fun on old computers. But yeah, I might as well just play a little bit of this so you can see it. Um, so yeah, watch out for the flashing at the bottom if you are sensitive to that. The Adventures of an Ancient Britain as he tries to ride his Goblosaurus. Space when I'm ready. Not return. Even the return is jump, of course. <laughs> Place to play. Camp Town Ladies sing this song. Yep, that's that one. Hang on, mouse pointer on screen. Ba -da -da -da. Hello, bird. Of course, the birds are not friends with goblosauruses. I still have it as being boffin in the title. Never mind, I'm gonna end it soon. Yep, get out of the way, bird. Now we've time for mushrooms. Jumping over all the mushrooms. Nope, not that one. Who knew mushrooms were just so solid? You gotta line yourself up right, jump over these, cause you don't have mushroom, yeah. Yeah, just a warning if you didn't know, if you hadn't watched any of my videos before. Oops. There are puns. Very bad ones. Usually. Oh. This is where the random luck comes into this. Cause the interesting thing is if you do a save state, I think it says the same, but once you come back to this, it changes up. So it's obviously basing its random number generation on the length of time the program runs or something like that. Ah. Oh yeah, spider warning does still apply, actually, that's good. I forgot about the spiders, I'm watching out for the flashing as well. Oh my, all, all this flashing, oh dear. Your tops, what about them? Oh. So yeah, so what I was trying to demonstrate in bringing up this program is you can push escape. This is not a good uh, way to, to display things. If I push break, can I list it now? No, it's not in the program, it's not in the memory, so I push old and then try and list it. This is the program that you just saw. Um, and you can see this is basic. Um, it's BBC basic. And yeah, if you want to um, know how this 
works, you can do that. I did in one of my um, uh, videos on my channel do a little exploring into the code here to try and find out how I could get further in the game because I said it's a lot of it's up to uh, random luck. Yeah, very, very long, much words, such code. Um, but yeah, I changed it so that you wouldn't... I didn't change it so you wouldn't die. I changed it so that you were a different height in the level. So you couldn't run into anything. Um, and so I could see how the game would progress. Because, as I said, it's all down to luck. And as the old games, it just gets more difficult. And I think faster and faster and, and things like that. and Until you die. And that's the whole point. Is that, you know, it's not supposed to be a game that you complete. Um, anyhow, so that was the whole kind of point of that, addressing a question or whatever in chat about this. And so, yeah, um, there we go. Uh, as I said, I don't really have a schedule or any kind of plan for when I'm going to do another one. But if you keep an eye on Twitter, if you subscribe, or not subscribe because I don't have that set up, but if you follow on Twitch, um, you'll get notifications. Um, and yeah, so... Um, I, th I think that's it. Did any anybody else want to say anything before I go? <laughs> Can I look at my YouTube channel? Uh, yes. Um, well, this is very, very, very fortunate that I have this here. Let me just make sure that I do have the right address because I'd hate to be directing people to the wrong place. I mean, it's the same name, but let me just get this up just so I can that is not what I would do if I was bringing up my channel I think I do have it as you can look up that should work uh, I can't really do... Well, I can actually do cut and paste from here. Ah, uh, because I'm looking... If I'm looking at the right thing here... Thank you very much, Scarlett. Oh, yes, I will follow the rules of my own chat. There, that is my YouTube channel link to the videos. Um, and all that. Let me just check I didn't miss anything. So, yeah. Um, oof, so I was going to actually type it out here. You know, www.youtube.com slash c slash katie rose yeah i can spell things right slash videos if you want to go straight to there mistake no <laughs> it is not a mistake <laughs> It is absolutely delightful if you go there. Uh, I, I cannot promise any delight. But if you like the stream, then you'll probably like the videos. Anyhow, yes, I should be ending things. I've never done a stream before, so I'm never not quite sure how to end things. So, you know, I know other people have fancy things where they can have... A mistake, yeah. <laughs> where they can have things pop up and uh, whatever. It's like, just pretend this is out outro music and whatever. ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da